Welcome to the StreamTest.net encoder video walkthrough. The purpose of this video is to show you how to utilize the StreamTest encoder to media server test. This video will also cover how to monitor and diagnose encoder related problems. We will start on the StreamTest landing page. From here we can click on the dashboard button located in the top right to launch the StreamTest dashboard. On the left hand side we can see the encoder test link. Let's click on it and navigate to that page. On the encoder test page we can view the encoder test wizard as well as the latest encoder tests. Let's start by viewing all the public encoder tests viewable through the latest test table which can be found by clicking here. From this table we are able to view the latest encoder test details including the date, the name, the stage, the region, and the test duration in seconds. Now let's walk through the starting the encoder test. The first thing you will notice is the login warning. Only users with an account are able to run encoder tests, so register today to access this ability. From this page, we can either log in by selecting the login link in the top right, or selecting the login button in the middle of the page. From this page, you can either register by selecting this tab here or log in with your credentials. Once you have logged in, you can begin the encoder test wizard by selecting this button. The first step of the wizard is to add encoder test details. Let's start by entering a name. It can be anything you want. We can then add a duration in seconds as well as toggle whether it is public and recorded. Depending on your subscription level, all of these options may be available. After we have completed this step, we can select the next button in the bottom right. The next step is to select the media server location. At this point, we only support media servers in Western United States, but more locations will be available soon. You can now select the Create Test button in the bottom right. The encoder test has now been created and can be run with the following values. To demonstrate inputting these values into an encoder, we will be using Adobe Media Flash Live Encoder. However, the test will run with most encoders. The first parameter is the media server URL and can be inserted here. The second parameter is the stream name and can be inserted here in the encoder. The third parameter is the username And the last parameter is the password. Now that the encoder is publishing successfully to the media server, we can return to the stream test encoder page and select the next button in the bottom right. The test is now complete and ready for viewing. You can view the live results by selecting the view test button. This brings us to the live encoder test results page. From here, we can view details about the encoder test, including name, the encoder IP, the date, the duration, the frame rate, the audio data rate, the video data rate, and the video keyframe frame frequency. The test result page also includes advanced metadata for those users wanting to take a deeper dive into the data. The encoder test also displays a real-time view of the stream the media server is receiving, as well as a graph including the bytes received, inbound data rate, outbound data rate, the lost data rate, and an average data rate line represented by the strong red line. Lower down on the page we can see a table of the encoder data on a second by second level. Stream test will automatically flag any row where a problem may be occurring. Now we can wait for our coder test to finish. The test is completed so we are able to stay on the page and view the data or leave and run other tests. Thank you for watching the StreamTest.net encoder test video walkthrough and happy testing.